Hey guys, it's Lem here again, your Amazon guide. In today's video, we are going to try to fix these cables here, guys. As you can see, it looks quite messy. So we're going to try to fix that with the YK. I don't know if you pronounce that correct, if I pronounce that correctly. YK under desk cable management tray. Okay, there it is. So the installation is right there. We will not be using any sort of screws or anything like that. We are just literally using double-sided tape to install this. And um, it will take 24 hours for the tape to, um, to cure to the surface. So today we're just gonna try to set it up and uh, we'll follow up tomorrow again to see if this thing will actually hold my cables and the surge bar down there. All right, so let's open this up. So you got two pieces inside. Wow, they are quite big, guys. I was expecting it to be small, but they are quite big. Okay, so here it is. Completely made of plastic. One side is smooth where you place your tape on and it comes with, what is this? The Ziploc or tie something. I can't remember the name of it, but it comes with those to organize your cables. And this is for the Cable, let me take a look at it where this thing goes. It looks like it might be more cable clips. Okay, take a closer look at that. I'm not too sure what that thing is for. Yeah, I think it's more likely for the cable to place it. And of course, your double sided tape is right here. Okay, so let's put this all together, guys. I'm gonna try to let me see my setup, how this thing will look like, or how am I gonna place this? So I'm gonna try, okay. I don't know if you guys could see me from down there. So, more likely, I'm gonna have it placed like this or the other way around. So it is completely invisible. If I do it like this, you'll be able to see. So more likely I'm gonna have it face it like that so that all the cables are hidden. Okay, so what you wanna do is make sure you wipe, you wipe the surface. I'm gonna use alcohol wipes so that it will stick more on the surface. So you just wanna remove this protective, protective plastic. And let me grab a pair of scissors. All right, so let me just wipe this clean with alcohol wipes. Make sure we get it nice and cleaned up. And also the bottom here. Okay. So just look for a center point. And perfect, I do notice a screw right in the middle, which is perfect. So let's stick that on there. So I'm still a bit skeptical if this tape will actually hold up those uh, surge and cables. That's one. All 
I'm also going to put one upstairs as well. That's two. Then one straight in the middle. Three. Okay, just try to press it down, make sure it's right on the surface that they're sticking all around. Okay, there you go. And now we're going to try to find the center point, which I found it, and just align it with the circle here. So let me see if you guys can see it from there down below. So I'm just going to put it like this. Let me see if I could, uh, hold on, let me see a sample. So what I'm going to do is pretty much a lot put it like this, guys. All right, but other way around like this. Okay, so now all we need to do is just line it up where the center is. Oh, we're going to do it this way. And remove the tape. Okay, three. All right, let's find the center point. And that should be good. Right there. Okay. So you just want to press just apply some pressure there. Make sure that it's sticking on the surface. I don't know if you guys could see me right there. Okay, there you go guys. So now we just have to wait for 24 hours okay so from there we'll do we'll layer everything up and store all the surge and the cable and hopefully we'll see a noticeable change okay so far away this is what it looks like take a closer look at that again and tomorrow, hopefully, those things will be gone, okay? So if you look far away, like here, you cannot see it at all. That, well, lower level, you can see it. But if you're standing up, my height level here, you will not see the box. I don't know, let me see, let me take a look. I have a super ultra wide angle lens. That's probably why it's still picking up, but up here, you cannot pick it up at all, guys. That box underneath. So all those cables will be all tucked in in there, hidden, and you'll have a clean look um, computer station or desk to work on. All right, guys, so. I've got another one here upstairs in a room. As you can see, it is quite messy, pretty much the same setup as downstairs. I do have a desktop here with the uh, ultra wide monitor up there. And as you can see the cable down there in the middle, it's just, it is just super messy guys. So we're gonna try to fix that up as well. And my table this time is white. So hopefully this black thing or cable management will solve this problem okay so we're gonna go a little bit of closer here so you guys can see everything what's happening so pretty much the same procedure guys nothing to it I already pre pre alcohol the surface so all i need to do is just remove this tape stick it on and then wait for 24 hours Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. How it looks like. So we can do a before and after. Okay, and you can even see the box from down below, guys, from this angle. Can't even see the box, which is really good. So everything will be tucked in there. There's the box. And if you lift it up, you cannot see the box. And all those cables will be gone. All right, so I'll see you guys in 24 hours as we organize the cable. All right, guys, so as you can see, that's what it looks like. The final product is amazing. You don't see any more loose wires or cables on the floor. Everything is completely tucked in in that plastic box. So we're going to try to go to the side to give you a different perspective of view. The only time that I'm having a difficult time is the power cable right there, guys. So you might have to get one of those that is flat so that this thing doesn't stick out. So as you can see, I put a adapter sticker here so that the cable will stay in place. But it looks like it's not staying on the metal frame. So you definitely want to get one of those that uh, goes against the wall, not this type, because you will see a little bit of a bulk or loose end wire, which doesn't look quite attractive. So let's go underneath so you guys can see what it looks like underneath there. Let me just and uh, use those hooks on the corner there. But of course, I'm kind of weary that thing will come off. I don't think it's strong enough. But for the plastic itself here, guys, here it is. It's fully loaded with everything in there. And um, it's basically, I don't know. We'll see how long this thing will last because, you know, there's some weight to it now, guys. After all the cable and the uh, surge power brick that I put in there, it's uh, quite uh, noticeable, the weight. So we'll see how long this thing will last. And I'll definitely do a follow up on this so that you guys could actually see the result or the outcome if the thing is worth the price or not. All right, so we're gonna go upstairs and uh, check out my other desktop and hopefully we can fix that up as well. Okay guys, so this one is a completely different setup. As you can see, we are not using the surge power brick or plug. You have two plugs there from the computer and the monitor, and uh, it still looks quite a, quite messy, guys. So um, like a, um, I could do I could use a zip tie lock or zip tie to you know just make it uh, make the cable more neater but i still don't like it um, there's just too many wires loose end wires so i'm going to be planning to buy another surge and just plug it in one socket and the rest i'm going to try to shove it up there and uh, hopefully it will be much neater than what i have right now so let's go down below so you guys can really see what it looks like down there as you can see the cables are just everywhere on this one um, so definitely I need a surge so that we can only have one cable running and the rest should be up here. And the issue that I will be encountering will be this one from the computer. So I will be using the bracket or that, that uh, adapter like this and um, install it that way. But... Uh, I'll definitely need a surge first before I do that. But at least you guys have a general idea. Two different setups that you guys could, um, you know, relate to. And hopefully my video can help you guys out 
make the best setting for you guys. And uh, down in the future, I will follow up and see how this thing holds up. And that's pretty much it, guys. So once again, thank you for watching my video. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next one.